Hello, folks. This is Jacob Harkey. It is April 3rd, 2024, and I am back in Los Angeles, currently very close to Scientology's Big Blue Building. If you'll notice, right now at this very second, I'm right in front of a Wendy's. That is because I just had dinner at said Wendy's. Um, I figured that while I'm here, I could share a funny story about my first time ever coming to Scientology's Big Blue Building. It was New Year's Day of 2022, and I was in Los Angeles for New Year's. And I had recently started to pay close attention to the allegations of abuse that were out there about the Church of Scientology. I had been watching Leah's show and read a handful of books. So I figured, why not stop by the building in Los Angeles and try to give out some Aftermath Foundation cards? Well, I didn't want to park too close to the building. So I figured, okay, well, what's a restaurant or a fast food place that's nearby? So this is where I came. To tell the next part of the story, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera view so that I can show you guys what I saw. So I was here in the Wendy's on Vermont Avenue, which is that street right there, which is a seven minute walk to Scientology's big blue building, or excuse me, to the Church of Scientology that's on uh, Sunset Boulevard. So I had to walk that way down Vermont Avenue and then make a left on Sunset and head down this way. Now, when I got back to my car, here's what I realized. You see that blue building right there? That is AOLA, Advanced Organization Los Angeles. And you see that light? That's big blue. So I wasn't actually as smart as I thought I was by parting, parking far away because Scientology owns so much dang property in this part of the city that even though I was a seven minute walk from the front entrance for parishioners, I'm still right next to Advanced Organization Los Angeles. All right. Hope it's been a good night for everybody so far. But since I'm right by AOLA here, I'll go ahead and cross the street. and head back to where other folks are. I popped onto YouTube just a moment ago to see who else was live, and I think that I saw DOA, uh, Cam, maybe Lara too. I think I heard Lara on somebody else's streams, maybe. But whoever's out there, it will be great to see them. Who's in the chat? I see Joanna is here. Hi, Joanna. Ocean Waves is here. Hello, Ocean Waves. I don't usually walk on this side of the building. Oh, Chris is here too. Love to hear it. That's awesome. Oh, Nora File says DOA left to La Poubelle. All right, all right. Well, maybe I will end up there before too long as well then. Alexi Evans says, hello, everyone. I'm working overtime tonight, so I won't be active, but I will be listening. Well, we love to have you here as much as you are able to be here. And if that's if that means not being active, that is perfectly fine. Good to see you. There's AOLA. Hello. All right. So let's see which folks are here that I know while I'm waiting and deciding which street I want to turn on. Scope out the area. AOLA. Advanced Organization, Los Angeles. I'll go ahead and cross here. Could have crossed a moment ago. Missed my chance. Anybody else come into the chat? Oh, Joanna says we've been on voice chat before. You're so nice. Oh, well, good to see you again. I'm assuming, I think we probably met in a Discord call or something. But good to see you in here. Thank you for being here. Hey, Sergio, thank you for being here. <laughs> Peekaboo says, you're sad you missed that night. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm in there, so I get the notifications when one of the mods says that they're doing a call. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. That's me. 
Yeah, Sup Myself and Daniel from Salem. Good to oh, see y'all. I was listening to some of your interview with uh, DOA That's when fun. I was on my way up. That, yeah, yeah, I was loving listening to it. Yes. Some solid answers there. Congratulations on your recent bachelor's degree. I didn't know about that. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, summa and everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is the first time that I had like a successful academic anything in like my whole life because I uh, didn't like to be told what to learn. Besides Berkeley College of Music, I did very well there. Heck yeah. Um, but uh, uh, left to join the circuits like so many people do. <laughs> Toured around a little bit. And uh, yeah, I got this bachelor's degree. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know, I owe somebody a whole lot of money now, some of the federal government. And I don't know if I want to owe somebody a whole house to go PhD. And uh, I'd be like 53 by the time like I got the PhD probably or like was finishing up my postdoc stuff to, um, to do serious work. But uh, my track was going to be research. My coursework was good enough, and everybody's like, "God damn, obviously, like, you could get a PhD. You like write a book, write a little book, man. You get a yeah. PhD." But um, if you know, if I get a free ride somewhere, maybe, you know, maybe I'll think about it. But yeah, I was going to go into research. That's sort of what I'm feeling with law school lately. Oh, right on, right on. Because I got a bachelor's degree in English, and yeah. I've been paying a lot of attention to the legal cases that right. involve Scientology, and so I think I've taken the LSAT, and like I, th- I think. Like I would enjoy law school. I yeah. f- I feel like I could get a lot so, out of it. So then it seems like you you did well enough on the LSAT that you could be thinking about this, right? I'm thinking I want to retake the LSAT probably so that okay. I can apply, uh, like basically apply this coming fall so that I can potentially start oh, law right. school in fall of 2025. What's the uh, distance between LSAT takings that you need to wait? Like uh, months or something? Yeah, and usually you have to register like six weeks in advance okay. or something. Right. And, but they, but they, they tend to offer it once each month, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so, so I'll probably try and take it again. I'll probably try and take it again over the summer. Great. And if I'm happy with my score, then great. Yeah. If, if I still think I can do better, then maybe I'll take it one more time in the fall and then send in my final law school applications right. in the fall. Excellent. I mean, this is just the tentative plan that I'm kind of thinking about right now. Yeah. I, we'll see where my life actually is yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, six months I mean, from now. You know, it sounds like a good sketch of uh, the next step. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Who else is around tonight? Uh, Jessica. Yeah, she's um, around the block somewhere. Okay, right on. Um, and Confident Chris is still here, right? Yeah. Um, I think I just saw him over there on the other side of the street, maybe. Uh, Tori, Tori just moved the car. Okay. I don't know where she went. Is Laura still around, or did Laura's, she go to La Pabelle? Laura's, Laura's gone to uh, an, an interview with Stevie Weeby. Oh, okay. Um, Interesting. And uh, DOA's over at La Pabelle is probably attracting a whole bunch of other streamers over there. It seems <laughs> like it's going to be a nice little circus. I, I'm trying to make a decision as to whether to go to there or to go back to the information center for my last night here. The, so, oh, tonight's your last night? Yeah, I'm, oh. leaving the, I'm leaving first thing in the morning. Oh, right on. Yeah. Okay. And where actually is home for you, or where are you going back? Massachusetts. Are you driving, oh, starting the drive back to Mass? Yeah, yeah but I'm oh, going to stop damn. back at like a bunch of the cities that I visited already. So gotcha. I'm going, okay. I'm immediately going back to Austin. I'm probably going to go back to Denver. There's some more recording stuff. Another recording project. There's Tori. Oh, all right. So, so here, Tori. Oh, sorry. I was hearing her stories. They're really good. Um, oh yeah, she's got so a lot. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to leave right now. You can take my spot. Oh, I'm, I'm going to leave. Okay. Well. Well, just I, just I was going to leave. I guess Jessica and... and Always uh, nice to catch up with. Uh, Folks like self or self. Okay, Okay, nice. So you're headed to La Pubelle, you're, or you said that you're headed to... Yeah, you're thinking either, of. either that or the information center. I'm going to have to be a human being and, like, get a meal and toilet myself and stuff. So uh, <laughs> okay. uh, as I've been out here, what is it... Um, 429 minutes. Dang. So, um, uh, it's it's kind of usual. Like, my longest live stream is 12 hours. Dang. But, uh, that's wild. Uh, they cut off the last hour of it. And here's Guess who's play. back? Yeah. Back again. <laughs> I'm a good one. Hey. It's good to see you back out here. Um, sorry for the losses, but glad to have you here. Good to be back. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Seems like folks are starting to. Disperse. Maybe some are headed over to La Poubelle. Yeah. Are you sticking around here, or are you you gonna head over there too? You think? I don't even know to be honest. I might. Call it a night. I might. I don't know. I'm gonna yes. head over there. Your call. Cool. You're gonna head over. Yeah. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do too. Um. 
I'll say hey to Chris before I go, though. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a moment. <laughs> See, Jay says, hi, Jacob. Hi, Jay. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know about this, Chewies. Oh, have you been getting spammed? Oh. No, it's mostly love, though. It's all love. Okay. That's good. What's up, Chris? Hello. How you doing? How you doing, man? Good to see you. More parking thing. Yeah. He's going to the Hollywood Information Ooh. Center. I think he was going to, on the Hollywood Boulevard. I think he's going to get something to eat, and then it's his last night here. Right. And he wanted to stop by there one more time. More that way. <laughs> Reminds me of when Lara's had to help me parallel park, which if you... Followed me or her for more than a month. <laughs> you may recall that. Jurgen says hi there. Hi, Jurgen. <laughs> oh, is the is the L. Ron Hubbard our uh, crime record on the back, or is it the same thing that they had at Easter on the back? I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like it. Oh. <laughs> That's great. But I want to just like leave it there and see what they do. <laughs> oh, did you bring it? No, it's crazy. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Scientology's big blue building. So what are y'all thinking, folks? I see Angry Bear says Info Center. I'm leaning toward going to La Poubelle, if that's where folks are being drawn to. We'll see, though. We'll see what the night's got in store. But yes, thank you for letting me know about this, Chewies. This is always good to know. No, no, no. But the thing is, Zach was already there. No, no, that was after. That was after. I was talking to him. You Zach sure it's entertaining when I don't want? I did what I can. I don't want to uh, give him a guy's name. Dude, that's what I'm waiting for. Bro, Zach was going. I've never seen Zach in a set before, bro. He was pissed. I missed it. People are telling me he got a ticket and parking yeah, enforcement yeah, yeah. is out. I'm. $15. I told him the parking guy uh, said he made it $1 extra. <laughs> 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 bro, that's funny. Oh, that's great. Oh, but that's too bad for yeah. Zach. That's no, a bummer. Zach. Zach was pissed, yeah. though. No, you're good. With the tire, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. You're the handicap. You're the handicap. You're the handicap. You're the handicap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I can get up. Get up. You always see me holding on the cars. <laughs> cars? Yeah, yeah I never do. You do what you got to do. It's a walking stick. I normally never have one. All right on. How have you been? Good to see you again. Good to see you too. And I'm Jacob. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. That really helped me. No problem, no problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no worries. One sec. So, Kristen, get a cup of my as a hero. Woo! <laughs> She's right there. Oh, God. I want to see where the fucking person got Oh, God, don't try not to forget. They're still here. They're right around the corner. It's too bad to hear that Zach got a ticket. You guy? She did get a ticket? Uh, no, Zach, Zach did, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, which is a bummer. I actually got one the night of uh, the party at. Jessica, are you going to park in your bread? No, I'm not. I need to my tire. I need to back up more than you forgot. She's looking at my well, is it the parking guy right around the corner? Yeah, and if it comes over, I'm going to knock him out. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi, where do you park at? Like the uh, I usually park on Edgemont, 
so like a bit of a walk away from here, not right, not right by here. Yeah, up by the light. Yeah. I was telling my chat a story about the first time I ever came here on New Year's Day of 2022. I parked at the Wendy's right there, oh. thinking that I was smart parking far away because it's like a seven minute walk from the front entrance up right. there. But it's right on the other side of AOLA, yeah, and I didn't I, realize that at the time because <laughs> they own so much property here. <laughs> but I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Because they were right there in the parking lot when I got to my car. I was like, there's a security guy on his bike, and I was like trying to pull out of the parking lot. I was like, you can go. He was like, I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> you can but, go. Yep. Yeah. I can't believe you're one of your time up at <laughs> Oh, I missed that. <laughs> you missed it, but she was intense. I was proud of you. You kept it together. I kept it together. Did you do it? You, you climbed the tree? No, I had tried before Laura got there. Oh. I, I was fine, but... I was, my hands were covered in dirt. I was, they were getting all scratched up. It was like impossible. And I was like, no. And then Laura came. She's like, I can do it. She's like flying up the tree. She's like, I climbed wow. trees back in my day. And then um, and then she was like insistent on me climbing up that tree. <laughs> yeah, she really was. It was like, <laughs> she was not letting it go. <laughs> I know. And I kept saying, I agree with Jess. It was like, no. <laughs> you know, because it just, it didn't feel right. It's like if you wanted to do and then, it, you Well, she forced Chris up there. <laughs> Chris couldn't get down for like 20 minutes. Know, you can see he was so nervous. It's a nightmare. So Laura was ordering people around yeah, tonight. Yeah, with the three she was. She was into it. She's, she should be a gymnast, though. She really should. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I believe it. She had lots of time to train, I guess, while she was in Scientology. <laughs> she practiced climbing kind of trees out there. Yeah. It's the MAA. That was her job, I think. You were never in the Sea Org, right? I was. Oh, you were in the Sea Org. Yeah, Wait, what was your post? I, I didn't have a post. I, I have epilepsy, and I ran out of my medicine. And I was out on the ship, out on the boulevard, out in the L.A. Harbor, doing ship training. Oh. Uh, I had joined at ASHO. And they said... Um, ASHO, that's right here, yeah. right? Yeah. And I said, look, but, but it was on Temple Street at the time. Oh, okay, got and it. And I said, um, look, I ran out of my medicine. I have to get a refill. And he said, well, we'll send you down to the MLO, which I didn't know what that was. It's the medical liaison officer. 18-year-old kid, knew nothing about medicine. And he said, you know, we're the top 10% of the planet. We don't take medicine. And that's it. You're going to use Dianetics and vitamins and get off it. And I ended up having a lot of grand mal seizures. And that was the end of me being in the serum. Actually, now that's jogging my memory. I yeah. think I did hear you tell part yeah. of that story. But... Oh, gosh. Well, I guess you kind of got saved from yeah. Being in the Sea Org yeah, in a certain I know, sense. I really wanted to, but that's why I'm in all kinds of things because I wanted to be in the Sea Org. So they, they got me volunteering everywhere. Mm, you know, but I see. And I was on staff. I was on staff NSO, which is non Sea Org, but CC and AO, stuff like that. Are you leaving? No, I'm going to move my car. Mm, Where are you probably going? not a bad idea. You sure you don't want me to just back up? Can't we both fit in there? That would be close. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe. I'm just saying if you if you stand there and hit my car. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we can. Okay. Just you, you stay there. Yeah, I'll yeah. Check how far I can go back. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Hey, Kid Freshy, good to see you in here. Kid Freshy says, bless her heart. Bless her heart, indeed. Okay, so you're gonna watch Yeah, 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 I'm watching. I'm trying my best not to shoot. We good. We are. We're gonna just try to fit both cars in here. Is out tonight. Let me get on the other I want side. To ask of... her if she knew Jimi Hendrix or not. <laughs> yeah. She's in like hey. midget Scientology. Uh huh. So I'm curious if she like ran into any like musicians from then. So I'm gonna ask her guys. Stop. 
did. You, uh, yeah, you're not you're not gonna fit. <laughs> You've only got like maybe that much more that you could go, and yeah, you're st- the red is still like here. Mm, well, I guess up to you. Uh, if you go back as far as you can, the red will still be like here. I think you're just gonna what? Okay, okay. No problem. E. Oh, you. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I think so, except you you will probably want to come around the other way. I mean, it's close, but also there's this patch of red right behind here. So this guy, will, this person will be able to, should be able to get out if they just back up. Oh, we'll be right here anyway. You right? Yeah, yeah. Where's she? Where's she going? She, she's not gonna fit. It's okay. yeah, we tried, but she's a lot of her car would still be in the red. If you want, but I. I don't. I think it'll be okay for him. I, I think he'll be okay, but it, yeah, I guess it's up to you. <laughs> okay. Do you want to move? The, do you want me to grab your phone or? <laughs> hey, Dustin. Good to see you in here. I offered to grab the phone off of her car, and she said nope. <laughs> there we go. Kid Freshy says, thoughts on the efficacy of the La Poubelle protests? I think that we're having an impact. I mean, I think that I know that there have been a handful of people who have been on their way in that we deterred from going inside. And when I say we, I'm just referring generally to the cluster of folks who are here tonight and regularly have been in front of La Poubelle. I generally, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of the kind of decentralized organization model where there's, there's no one person who is making all the shots. I, I'm, let's dive into this some more later because it's a, it is a good question. What was that? My car was his. Oh yeah. Oh, is this your car right here? No, it's not mine. Oh, okay. No, it's whoever's it is. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure who that is. Thank God, Jessica came to tell me though. Yeah. Because they were right around the corner. Yeah, Who got the ticket? Zachary. He's the one. He often has a yellow jacket on and like uh, buzzed hair. Um, he, I, I can point him out oh, to you yeah, if he's he still was, around. I think he was here. He was there at uh, at the party that we were at yeah. a few weeks but ago. I mean, yeah. I think he was here tonight. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. It was yeah. tonight that he got it. Right. Yeah. I, I didn't see it happen. Was I just sixty eight dollars or something like that. <sighs> that's yeah, the that's same. A lot. It's awful. Yeah. I forget why I almost parked there too. Oh god! And then I thought, now wait a minute, it's a white zone. I couldn't remember if my little disability thing works for white zones or not. But I thought, don't chance it, Tori. <laughs> and then I talked to them, and they're like, oh yeah, park here. Luckily, Jessica. Hey, nice. you made it back. Oh really? See this? Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should we go cheer him up? Wait, oh, wait, I'm wait, sorry. We can't. Wait, we can't. Okay. <laughs> I am curious. Oh, hang. Are you, are you going to sit here for a little bit? You sure? Okay, okay. You can leave me here. Get out of here. I've been here for years. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go. Don't worry about it. You can't. All right, I'm following behind you. People. <laughs> so what's the story about why we're running? Oh, because I guess that's Oh, okay. Makes <laughs> for good content. I haven't even seen him yet, too. Um, I really like coming to the city because this is so insane. Um, here sometimes in the city of Los Angeles, you got three cars there and me. Um, for parking in a permitted zone next to an extremely busy restaurant. Uh, and there's no homes there. There's only, there's only this one here. Um, everybody else on the street. 
I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I know. I'm not it's a bust. Uh, I'm not going to go to jail. <laughs> no, not, not that. No, not that I'm not. Um, I explained to him why this is ridiculous. And explain to the officer? Yeah, this is, this is an inner out. So this is why people are leaving Los Angeles. It's because you cannot do business here uh, because the city is so restrictive. This um, is exactly what it said at the place where I got a ticket. And it confused me because when I saw two-hour parking, 8 a.m. to 6 yeah. p.m., I interpreted that as free free parking so after 6 p.m. But then it's no parking, 6 a.m. Yeah, Mom, like you just told me where to park. And I told you to stand up. <laughs> yeah, so like this is how re this is how restrictive and ridiculous Los Angeles is sometimes. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. Dempsey, that's literally the most untrue thing I've ever heard. Why? <laughs> <laughs> like they will put out a warrant if you don't go to court or pay them. Uh, Hold your breath. Chichi, can I go for yeah, it? It is Jacob A Harkey at gmail dot com. Well, Feel free to reach out, and if I happen to not respond you know within a couple of days. Please feel free to reach out again. The whole toll. I want to see these people come back and see the tickets. You know, we'll see if they come out of the But then you gotta pay on your registration. On your license plate. Yeah. But they're issuing so many tickets in one location. And there's no logical reason for it. Change, change the parking restrictions. Because this makes no sense. Um, maybe after 8 p.m. or something, maybe. But this is a restaurant here. A busy restaurant, and you can't park here after six without a permit. The um, for a restaurant right there, so that's just games. That's just that city playing games with signs, um, and it has nothing to do, I think, with. Uh, you can't run it. There's only one. But they said you were really going after. Them. Yeah, I'm pissed off. I'm tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he wouldn't give me the name of the supervisor. Um, mm. He wouldn't give me his name. And he he just, wouldn't uh, give you his name? He's after writing all this thing. I'm like, oh, so fuck that guy. I don't care. I really don't care. That's, that's, that's why I'm at my limit. Because I don't, I don't want to pay $60 for this. Did you get him on stream? Oh, yeah. You got his face? But he wouldn't give you his I, I name? I didn't get his face. I, 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 I just yelled at him a little bit as he walked back to his car. Mm. Yelling is not a crime. No, yelling is not a crime. And <laughs> if they want to get him yeah. as a parking official um, for this ridiculousness, I want to see what the reaction is of these people when they come out of the restaurant to see their cars have been ticketed. Um, by parking enforcement. To be honest, everyone who I see its car gets ticketed. They walk over, they look at the ticket, they shrug their shoulders, they yeah. take it, and they toss it behind them. <laughs> everyone that I say. I'm tired of giving them money. I'm yeah. so tired of it. I got one for yeah, going, I was 15 yeah. minutes late, uh, getting back from meter parking after a George Tindall final game. Oh, cool. And I literally saw the guy doing it, the same thing. So they're just being very aggressive. Um, here, and this is terrible zoning. Like, this literally just hurts this business here, not to be able to have their customers park back in a ticket. Um, if I went to hit that restaurant and I came out and got a ticket, I wouldn't come back to the restaurant. Damn. <laughs> Dang. What's the restaurant have to do? I mean, it's no parking. <laughs> we, should, we should go talk to the restaurant real quick. We should go look at the restaurant now. Yeah. You're going to protest them next. <laughs> Let all the customers know. Yeah. Let them know about you. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's getting me. Just don't park, okay? This is why Will takes a scooter everywhere. That's true. 50 bucks. No, but I am going to take that guy to court. And I'm going to see if he wants to show up. Box it out. That guy's a coward, if you ask me. Um, he can need to get it's easy job. to fight them. Though. People tell me to get a job. That guy needs to get another job. Wait, so what? What is going to be your case at court? Like what? It, it um, it's improperly zoned here, and these signs are hard to see. Um, they make no sense. No two-hour parking, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. People with district number 31 permits accepted. And this isn't even residential here, really. So that's commercial. Um, and he took ticketed three other vehicles. So that's just being extremely aggressive, and this needs to be changed to uh, be, you know, more business friendly. <sighs> yeah, parking is a pain in the ass. Um, I do get that. I can't deny that. We'll all be witnesses in the court. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's um, it's I mean, a no we all it, 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 it's, just, it's, it's just ridiculous. And then I, I'm parked ahead of him, so I honestly do give a fuck. Got... That guy can go fuck himself. And I see that guy here again. I'm gonna yell just the same. If he you would recognize him, yeah, I'll recognize that guy. What? Okay. If he comes around the streets again, he's gonna. Yeah. He's so you gonna... saw his face, but you didn't get his face on screen? Oh, no, or... I, I did. Oh, you did get his yeah, face on screen. Okay. I literally caught him as he was writing it. 
Oh. Yeah, he hadn't even shoved it in there. Yeah, yeah. he hadn't even shoved it in there yet. And I he's like, oh. Oh, I don't have time. And, and like he do as you were calling after him. Yeah. No, he, he, mm. he asked for a supervisor. And he, he refused to give a supervisor. To me. But Jess told the guy to do it. I, I think we should. Wait well, on. I didn't know it was his car. Yeah. Okay. She's like, ah, oh, yeah, get like, him. Yeah, take them all, take them all, because <laughs> it wasn't me for one. And but, the guy like, that's my car. I, 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 I exactly. literally, I literally have no patience for this shit anymore. Um, I'm tired of giving these people money for Thanks, no And no offense, you're getting removed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is no offense the user's name, or you were no, telling no, them no offense, got, but you're getting removed? No, I'm, I'm gonna fight him because it's, exce- it's, it's totally excessive. I mean, you got three other cars there, and then I'm sure these are just restaurant patrons. Um, so, like, Probably. people are wondering why business leaves Los Angeles. This is why, because you can't do business here without having. You should go you know, with the city council. council. <laughs> yeah, city council too. Oh no, I'm gonna fight that. I mean, yeah, if we can make some progress getting more parking availability on streets in L.A., yeah. and I'd be here for it. Yeah, and I mean, like, I, I mean, it's dinner hour. That restaurant is busy. Wouldn't they love to be able to not have their customers? I know, the restaurant like, is busy trying to, they can't park anywhere because they got you. Because <laughs> 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 they got you parked here. I am uh, not not going to park here anymore. Um, well, but, yeah, probably if, not. If, 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 I, if I see that fucking guy again, I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to tell him he's an asshole. Uh, so fuck that guy. Um, I, and, and, you know, I, hope, I, I, hope, I hope he enjoys his job writing people tickets because that guy's a loser. Amen. I mean, I can't imagine that's satisfying. Like, I get to go out and write tickets, like, for like really ticky tack reasons. Um, there's no shortage of parking for residents on this street. There's not a lot of residents. Dude, doesn't Scientology own these buildings too? I don't yeah. Know. I think they do. They say they, I think they, they do. Say they all pay rent. They all pay rent. Yeah, they all pay time for rent. <laughs> I never seen a church. Two hat Tony. <laughs> two I call him two hat Tony because he had two hats on one night. Uh, he said they pay time for rent. Yeah, what a shock. I believe it. All right, guys, y'all want to take a lap? I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go lock this on. I'm going to yell some fucking people. <laughs> he just said he's not going to La Poo Belle. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't feel like going to La Poo Belle anymore. No, yeah, no, he's like, I'm yeah, going to La Poo Belle. Go people, I'm so tired of this shit. Um, <laughs> standing on business. You yeah, should no, go, fuck that guy. Go, go into the restaurant and give him a piece of your mind. Oh, I, I, I did. I told him. I told him. Oh. Do you want any patrons to get ticketed? Three of them just got ticketed. Oh, thanks. They don't care. She didn't care. She just shrugged. So, like, they know. Um, I wonder how many tickets I got right here every week. And, like, again, like, this is the city being ridiculous. Um, Are you going to do a story about him? Okay, right on. I pull the, we don't know his name yet. Oh, we get a. I, mean, I don't. I, I, not like that. I'm not. But he can go fuck himself. <laughs> fuck that guy. I, I honestly, I I just lost my patience with him because he's he's doing his job so ridiculously, um, overly aggressive, and just go sit in a fucking parking lot somewhere, bro. Go write tickets where like it at least makes sense to write tickets because like <laughs> ticketing three cars in a row. You got you got. He got two, he got three or four cars in a row there. He's meeting his quota. quota. That's all he's doing. His signs are ridiculous here next to a busy restaurant. If they get this fired up. What? If they get this fired up. Yeah, this might be one of their cars over there. Yeah, I want to see, you know, let's see who comes out here. But fuck that guy. Well, these two cars, these three cars right here. These four cars right here. That guy can literally go fuck off. Um, <laughs> if I see him again, I will yell at him just the same. I don't care about parking enforcement. I hope he comes back around here. Yeah, they can, call, they can call the cops and say I'm harassing an official. Um, but I will yell at that guy just the same. We saw him here the other week. I mean, he was trying to take a U, I thought. My chat says you need to pop a Zan. I'm not sure what that <laughs> I don't is. Pop, I don't take Zanx I don't, I don't, I don't to calm down. I'm not sure what Papa Zan means. It's took Xanax, Xanax to calm know, down. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, no I, I, I'm, I'm literally just sick of the city <laughs> failing <laughs> so hard and harassing people, literally just trying to go patronize a restaurant, trying to go about their business um, for no reason. I, we have plenty of money for parking enforcement. We don't have any money for anything else but, park, but cops, pretty much, in the city. Um, there's not enough shelter beds. Um, you know, they can't build enough housing. Uh, the streets are terrible. Uh, the police only come, you know, when you're in a nice, fancy white neighborhood and they love you. Um, and, like, well, no, they're they not even come friendly. for Scientology protests. Or, except for other swatting Jessica, right? 
<laughs> or rest in cam. Yeah. Cam, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> cam missed the whole show. He, he, like, he <laughs> didn't get to. What? <laughs> you missed the whole show. One. Zach, he was going off. Yeah. He's oh, been no, here. I, I was there when you guys walked off and you were still called oh, off. Wow. <laughs> I went up to the security guard. Or whatever, it was sixty-eight dollar ticket. I was like, you should have made it a dollar extra, so it been, at least it would have been a cool number. <laughs> like, Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sir. If I see that guy again, I'm gonna fucking yell at him again. I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna knock him out. I just yeah. don't want to. Um, because like I got no patience for his shit. You know, <laughs> he he wants to come out here and write ticket after ticket after ticket after ticket every night. Um, Maze quota. Um, actually, right at, the, right at the start of the month, so he's not even meeting his quota. He's just being an asshole. And he got th- three or four cars in a row there on the other side of the street. So mm-hmm. if you're on that guy's your... side, like, I mean, they used to have a show about this um, where people right. would, like, they would follow the parking force off. Yeah. 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 And people would really yell at them. Because the way these streets are zoned is so ridiculous. Like I'm saying, there's no reason for this street to be permit parking from this point on. Because there is completely nothing. So, like, how does that make any sense here? Um, but fuck that guy. Um, I see him again, I'm gonna yell at him just the same. And I don't care. I really don't care about this guy, that guy. Because that guy is a jerk. Mm-hmm. He's literally just doing his job shamelessly. Um, <laughs> writing tickets for cars for a ticky tack violation. And you guys understand, like, how, how silly is, it's preferential parking is the, is the vehicle that violation. Want some advice real quick? The what? You want some advice? <laughs> so how you have that, yeah. the ticket right here. Whenever you park somewhere, leave that right there. That envelope? You really like really yeah. Yeah. That might work. <laughs> that sounds pretty clever. But Interesting. I, I, I literally just don't care. Um, it, it's, so ridic- it's so ridiculous. This sign here is not even, let's see if I can fix this sign. Yeah. Let me tell you what it is. Oh, yeah. You're going to say one more laugh. We all start walking around over there, but I take one of the tickets off the window. So he goes through again. So he goes back around. He goes, I'm going to see his That's perfect. You guys going to give him a laugh. You're like, one more laugh. You know, basically, one more laugh. Parking is class warfare. I ain't going to. Is anybody else feeling one more laugh? Before Black Poo Bell? Or are you trying to get out of here? I'm just going to laugh at Bell because that guy's going to come back. Mm-hmm. Take me again for the same thing. Gotcha. That's a fucking asshole. If I see him again, I'm going to yell at that guy. <laughs> and you can see me in court. I'll be like, I'm going to yell at him again. Don't care. Mm-hmm. Like, All right. Walk off last round. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Walk it off like a cat. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm going to look for Well, him. you're going to go look for him? Where <laughs> are you going to. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Who's this? Who this? Hey! Hey! I like that. Hey! I appreciate that. Thank you. How are you guys doing? That live stream. I appreciate it, brother. Good to see y'all. Thank <laughs> you guys. Bye. Thank you for by. We love it. All right. Have a good night. <laughs> Either of you recognize them or just fans. Right on. <laughs> So we'll see you at La Poubelle. Or are you coming? With it for a lap. I'm going to buy that guy. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if he wants to show up in court. Yeah. He wants to show up. I'm going to contest it, though, and I'm going to say I'm gonna say exactly like this. That it's not a residential zone here. This is a church, a restaurant, and everything residential is down there. So the fact that you got so many cars just shows it. Uh, the city of Los Angeles is ridiculous. Yeah, you you said it. Yeah, I mean, this is why businesses are leaving. Um, why you know nobody can afford to live here. Yeah, so Jessica. And, you know, uh, she's on that. Okay, Jessica has a ticket. I mean, I'm sure those people are just eating up. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who else would be parking right here because it's probably not Scientologists. They just use the parking lot. So yeah, it probably is patrons. Yeah, and I mean. The guy was literally smirking as he walked away. Like, he had just done something dirty, so... Yeah, he is. He's, he's simply harassing restaurant patrons with tickets um, for somewhere that shouldn't be uh, a residential zone. I mean, 
unless you think that Scientologists are like parking here overnight for housing. Uh, no, because I'm just gonna get a ticket to the bed probably. Oh, yeah, you, th you think? Yeah. Yeah, you can. That would be wild if they tried to. I mean, I guess it was a little bit too easy to find part. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Um, if I see him again, I'm going to yell at him. Just for saying. Yeah. We should, we should hold, hold him accountable. Yeah. <laughs> hold him accountable. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he can go to scared. He can sit in his little, little way, car to the house. Um, he can wave his shit. He can make his clue. You know what? That would be a good freaking slide right there. Holding yeah. Him. All right, I'm gonna take a laugh. All right, so we'll see you at La Poubelle. Yeah, I'm gonna lock All right. I'm fired up. Well, what are you we'll see you there soon. Get out of Los Angeles. Get out of Hollywood. I'm gonna tell him exactly what uh, French Watt did you well for um, in court because he told her to get out of Hollywood. <laughs> and apparently that's like a threat or something. Alright, you guys wanna make a laugh? Yeah, yeah. Right, don't, don't get a ticket in here. Yeah. Oh, wait, what do you do? Oh, it's very funny. Bro, they're not gonna go to pay their ticket. Yeah, you did. Presenter mode. They're gonna go out and scream at Zach for Hey. Why am I taking cards? Because I need the money to make the money. Otherwise, we might not have any money for a development lobby, you know, to shake down the city port. Hey. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I just don't see any reason why this should be uh, residential parking up here. year. And it shows that they got rid of cars, so, I mean. <laughs> All right, we can go. I have no support. All right. See you at La Pavelle. See you in a bit. Do <laughs> <laughs> you guys think he's going to win his case contesting the ticket? <laughs> It's, it's actually pretty easy. Somebody told me they donate a hundred dollars to him. He don't care though. It's a bunch of. He probably needs a grand. I've never seen Zach that pissed off. No, never. I get them. I pick them up off my windshield and toss them. Like an hour. No, yeah, I thought we were just going to check on him really quick. I didn't realize we were going to be there just talking to the I'm not. That was funny, though. I love Zach Grant. We have to write character letters for him. Guys, I remember one time a few weeks ago, I don't remember exactly when, but it was just you two. Oh, and maybe DOA, too, at uh, Big Blue. And I was at home just watching the streams. And I was watching yours. And I heard Zach's voice really loud, and all of the chat was about Zach. <laughs> and so I went over to TikTok, and I opened up, uh, I opened up his stream, and he immediately invited me to join. So then I joined, and I was talking for a couple of minutes, and then I went back to your stream, and I could hear myself. And oh my gosh! I was dying at the comments. Someone said D1 Yapper. <laughs> Oh, we love Zach. Here we are. Logo. I love when Sebastian makes the autograph because like, he puts a sign called logo. He did? Yeah. He signed the autograph for that kid. He put a sign called logo. Do you know how much that, that autograph?
<laughs> Thanks for letting me know, good good girl on roller skates. I'll be sure to check it out. I felt bad that I couldn't stop laughing while he was talking about that. And then you kept pointing the camera over at me. I was like, <laughs> I don't need him to go back and watch this and see me laughing at him. Oh, is it? You're going to see him going 80 down there over on <laughs> he was? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they said Jess was even half as upset when her car was towed. <laughs> Chris, I love the shit that you were saying that you were just getting him to agree with. Like, we got to hold him accountable. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> He was like, if I ever see him, I'm going to tell him to fuck right off. I'm going to tell him I tell him what an asshole he is. And you were like, you should knock him out. He's like, yeah, I'm going to knock him out. Oh, You go check on toy. Daniel with Salem is oh, still yeah. still over there. Thankfully. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna knock him out. I was like, yo. It's always something that happens out here. Right? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Did that's blood pressure? <laughs> We are in the real world, so I get my Snickers, bro. <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. You always got the Snickers on deck. The Snickers. More money, no, I'm good. William Tology. William Tology. And I don't think that. Hey, girl. Oh, what they doing? L. Hubbard Way. Oh, that smell. It's been for like a week. It's only in these two spots on the corners. They put like freaking hell in the middle of the corners. What? The smells that are on like the uh. I think you need to uh, make a, instead of a uh, mini screech, just make a mini bath. <laughs> 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 There's something going on after that, though. Well, you have streets' as mannerisms down. <laughs> Even just hearing him. I love it. You know what's funny is the hoodie even fits your hand the way that his hoodies fit him. Like I see, I see the way it's moving around, and I'm like, that's what he looks like when he's moving around. They actually got way better though. Like even my boys doing it at the Lapu Bell, and you could just see us. From the new one, comparing mm -hmm. it, I'm like, oh damn! It's <laughs> not my bad. No, I love it. Streets, is that you? <laughs> see, you can see. <laughs> Kid Freshy says, "Do you think Shelly yes, is alive?" Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Car coming on into the parking lot. I said thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a Uber. That's a Uber. Yeah, I think she is. I think that she's likely at a very secretive Scientology base. And the most popular theory is that she's at Twin Peaks in San Bernardino County. Um, I, her lawyers have alleged uh, within the last 10 years or so that she is alive. And I don't think that they would risk their law license uh, saying that if it was not true. It, I believe that she is. I I, I can't say with certainty that I know that, but I believe that she is. Yes, sir. 
Mr. Sir. The Petrolia thing is interesting. So, yeah, I, I, she could be there, but I, either way, I think that she's at a very secretive uh, Sea Org base. I was driving by and I stopped and I said, I see you on TikTok all the time. And he looked at me, I have a own book on TikTok. He looked at me and then went and looked at the license plate and he, like, called somebody. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's a rental, buddy. That was a rental, by the way, buddy. You remember me? No, they be getting you. They be getting who got the rental. They would have got my name and everything. I can't remember all of the pertinent details about uh, Petrolia, but that's another base where what document was it that came up that indicated that she was it that she was registered to vote in Petrolia County or Petrolia what the whatever county Petrolia is in? I can't remember what. I can't remember where exactly that is, but it's another city in California or another area in California where some believe that Shelley may be more likely to be as opposed to the Twin Peaks location in San Bernardino. Yeah, okay. Shannon says it was voter registration. Got it. Town in North California, Northern California. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Oh, I was impressed with how fearless she was. Just keep walking right up there. <laughs> Who this? Is that my Bessie and a Tessie? <laughs> okay, driver's license. Got you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it always goes to shit right here. City Council, please. Who's born in the. Oh, when this is a hospital? Oh, I did not. How did I not know that? That's wild. Oh, my God. No wonder he. Oh, wait. He sounds like college or something. No. Mm-hmm. Only Oslander, bro. <laughs> I was just talking with one in here, but they probably have a whole room for him. They probably tried to recruit him too. Oh, don't get him in there. Yeah. I'm sure. Most famous actors. I want everybody. Has he ever done a movie with Tom Cruise? No. He's done one. He's done a bunch with uh, obviously Brad Pitt. Mm hmm. Right. Obviously, uh, they want with Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg wasn't wasn't ever a Scientologist, was he? No. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, they asked him about uh, Tom Cruise. He's like, no, we go to different churches. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's okay. funny. Mark Leo? Wahlberg. Oh, got it. Him. No, yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Where did he... They were talking to him about Tom Cruise, and he was like, nah, I don't, I don't work with him. We go to different churches. He doesn't like Scientology. Damn. It's interesting. No, he just said. Yeah, it's going low. <laughs> Welcome back, squatter. Welcome back, squatter. Welcome back, Cotter. Was the show John Travolta was first on, right? I think it is. But I was laughing at the phrase "Welcome back, squatting." <laughs> Back to Fountain Avenue, our lap's about complete. <laughs> Hi. We were like, she was all hyped about it. She was so excited. And then people were like, Tori, like, how do you feel about like witnessing the swatting? She goes, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 
she did. That's exactly what she said. That's not what Tawani here. No, she said it was her first time witnessing it. It was great. I can literally tell you a little bit. When I was here, she loved it. Hey, hey. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> we had a we had a good little laugh there. Checked in on Zach. No, I think. Oh, that was so uh, funny. He was throwing a temper tantrum without a ticket. It was it was entertaining to say the least. Yeah, how much? Funny. How much? Sixty-eight dollars. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you would have thought it was a billion. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna contest it. Yeah. Oh, it, it was really creepy. But the, the the funny part about it is that he was parked wrong. He was parked yeah. on the spot he can't be. Wrong. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, what are you going to contest it? What's your basis for contesting it going to be? Bring him the court and, and, and all this points stuff. Points the camera at it. He's like, well, it's hard to see. And I, it was. It was it, he, he couldn't park where he was parked. Like no parking there unless you have a permit. Six p.m. to eight a.m. But he was saying he's going to take them to court and he's going to go <laughs> find the guy. And, <laughs> And I don't get it. How is he parked wrong if it says no parking? No parking. So, so that means he's car shouldn't have been there. He I was parked he, I there. Maybe he was parked okay. So, no, 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 no. No, he, he was, was parked. parked wrong, and the sign said it. Yeah, so, correct. Okay, that's why I almost parked there, right at that place yeah. where the, I saw the guy coming Good down, did it. and they had tagged the car, mm-hmm. and they, they were pulling off the tag. Yeah. I don't know. They had. I just saw him pull something off of Zach's car. I think they they probably go by with, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what he was doing, but it looked like he was doing something creepy and Zach was freaking out. So, an exciting night. Yep. All right. Well, at least Let's they didn't tow it, though. I mean, yeah, that, true. That's a really good thing. I mean, towing is like 500 bucks to get it out Trust of Trust me, I know all about it. <laughs> Did they tow your car? Multiple, yeah. multiple times. Really? How yeah. much did it cost? Uh, okay, so I think it's three sixty-eight. I believe is the cost for you to get it. They also, though, you get two tickets: the one for whatever you supposedly did, and then the ticket for whatever the toll place gives you. So it ends up being about five hundred somewhere around. Oh, it's 500. more than that. Or at least it was for us. It, was it depends on what the ticket is, though, that you originally had uh, gotten. So and also, if you have to wait till the next day, it goes up like fifty dollars. Oh. So it adds on. But yeah, I think about, I think, like, it, it varies, but about 500. God. Yeah, it's great. It's expensive. It's way more than a ticket. Mm-hmm. I went into the, I went to the police station with Will the one day, and uh, we go inside, he's yelling at the police, whatever. I come outside, my car's gone. Really? And they towed it, yeah. Mm-hmm. When you went to the police yeah, station? they towed it. Why? Yeah. They said my registration was expired. It was expired by two days. Oh. Three hours to get it back. You had to go back to the police station. They were like, you know, we went to the towing no, place. And they were like, no, you have to go to the police station to get your stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, they, they were just playing the games because I hated it. Went back like three or four times. And then the, the tow place kept telling me that they were going to hold my car and not release it because my followers supposedly were calling and uh, saying not to release my car because I, I hid drugs in it. Yeah, so what did you want drugs? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the same night we got squatted too. Oh really? Oh damn! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That was the same night we got squatted. Yeah, that was a great yeah. night. That was, a fun night. <laughs> was that the one over there? No, uh, in the hills. Oh, you mean in the party? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. party told you. The party. <laughs> <laughs> the party that didn't exist. Yeah, I, mean, I was following party. you guys. You went to that first corny party. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a party. Was what was it? Like, like it was just a meetup. Little kickback, yeah. right? Like it was just a meetup. It wasn't supposed to be a party. No, a I know it wasn't a party, but it was it was content creator. But they didn't look like they were creating. No, they were. Yeah. No, they were creating alcohol and other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> they were just adding each other on Instagram, which is just why I go. Yeah. Look at it. Any of you? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, do any of you? Do I need to use you for anything? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> why is the bus coming down here? What the hell are y'all doing? Slow down. Look at Mr. Sherman. I stick it on there. If you you notice, they only do like the same trips. Like this, people don't go like. They don't leave the actual building. What do they do? They just do the same exact thing. Like they don't actually go to a different location. Are like, you serious? Yeah. They're just driving in circles around. right here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We got, They're we in a coach. We should get their license. Like, 
Close. Yeah. I didn't know that. I even recognize the drivers now. It's like the old guy and the young guy with like nice. always the shirt. Yeah. Who's the? Uh, Why would they do that? Because they're in a cold, so <laughs> they so oh, they just have them doing the same thing. Wait, why is it a cold? The cold. <laughs> yeah. Why is it a cold? Because yeah. they're doing the same thing every day, twenty four seven. I don't think so. I can't, that's unbelievable. Yeah. You want to hear things that happened to me in Clearwater? What this happened? This is kind of a cool thing. Speaking of vans, I heard that this guy in this really cool museum with all the old artifacts from L. Rich's ship, right? Mm. The Apollo? But it was all underground. Like, you had to, you had to say, yes, I want to go, and they'll come pick you up. So they came and picked me up, and it was sort of like, you know, not okay with the Church of Scientology, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I don't give a shit. I want to see it. You're totally. So I, I know. So I go there, and there's this old guy, and you had to walk across the gang so flag deep. that he had built into this warehouse, and the guy had fucking amazing stuff. I mean, he had the steering wheel of Hubbard's, the Apollo ship, and, you know, it isn't anything for you guys, but for Scientologists, I'm, I'm like, why don't they have it? Why doesn't yeah. the church have this? Yeah. <laughs> he said, they don't want it. I said, you're kidding. I mean, he had all kinds of stuff that was like original, original stuff. And he said, no, I'm saying I don't want it. That. That's like a Christian church <laughs> not wanting Jesus' sandals. I know. Like, what? I know. It's like, how can that be? And they ended up declaring him suppressive and everything. Wow. What, wow. No, the, the guy. Oh, the guy who had that? that? <laughs> it's like so creepy. It just really creeped me out. It was like one of the beginning waking up things for me. It's like something is very wrong in this country. What year was that around? I don't know. Oh, okay. It was in the 90s. Gotcha. See, but, but you got to do a lot of things that these people don't get to do, sure. right? Like this, yeah. you were, these people are more in a routine than you were, I would oh, say, because yeah. you were high up. So you yeah. kind of. You know, yeah, and I and I was skulk, skulking around them. because they routed me out of the Sea Org, but I kind of had the Sea Org, you know, I'll do anything kind of thing. So yeah. they, my whole thing with OSA, you want to know how it started? Richard, we moved from LA to Florida, mm -hmm. and we're living there. And in Clearwater, they had Save Sparkling Clearwater stamp out Scientology. And it was this guy, Richard Tenney, who was the city commissioner trying to get to be mayor. And so now this guy, Milt Wolf, comes to me, calls me in his office, and he goes, okay, you have to handle this. And this is hundreds of cars driving back and forth, honking and screaming and yelling how awful Scientology is. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, it was, I've never seen anything like this. Just like here sometimes. No, no, nothing like this. I've More? never seen it in Germany. Germany, that, that's what it reminded me of. I was like, oh, shit. And so he goes, you have to handle it, Tori. And I go, me? You know, how can I? I just have a new baby. How am I going to handle it? So he goes, look, there's only four public here. And I'm going to tell you something that's top secret. Which Scientology, everything's always top secret, right? Mm -hmm. And L. Ron Hubbard was on the ship for years. And he was going to go on land in Georgia. But he got wind, this is the story, that the FBI were going to plant ships or drugs on the ship. So they zoomed around and bought the Fort Harrison in Clearwater, lied, and said they were the church of something else. It, and that's United the, Churches of Florida? Yeah, something like that. It's been documented. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it was a lie. And so he said, so we are liars to them. And this guy's whole thing to become mayor was state sparkling Clearwater, stamp on Scientology. They're liars. Don't listen to them. So he said, so you go handle it, Tori. And I'm like, me? You know, with a brand new baby and everything. And so I go out. I think, all right, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So there's an older lady with an a, a American flag and a big sign against Scientology. And so I think, all right, I'll go up to her first. So I go, what are you doing? And she starts bitching about Scientology. And I, my son starts crying. And I said, look, the only product you have right here is look at my son. He's crying. That's it. This is bullshit. You should, you should put down your flags and go home. And she did. She put down her <laughs> flags and she left. And so I just kept going person to person to person to person all around the town. Started going to the meetings. You know, faced Richard Tenney. You know, just thing after thing. Richard Tenney is the guy who the was running for... Running for mayor. Okay, got so, it. Anyway, mm. I finally got him. I, I said, look, these people think we have long fans. That's <laughs> it. They do. So we need to have a party because my mom was a big party animal. 
and she was like, if you have a problem, have a party. Mm -hmm. you know? So I said, we need to have a party and just have the people come and talk. I'm a doctor, I'm a mother, I'm a father, I'm a you know podiatrist, whatever, whatever you are, because they don't know that, you know, Scientologists to this day won't say I'm a Scientologist. Right. They, they're, so they're around you, but you don't know they are. So they, they, they hear the bad PR and they don't ever meet good Scientologists. So I said, let's have a party. They won't talk about Scientology. We'll just be nice people. Hmm. And... <laughs> what? Well, is dead. <laughs> What happened? We said Santa. Oh, it's been dead though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Not much happened in there. They're asking if you ever met Elron. No, but my husband. Did. Oh, really? Dang. I didn't want to. You didn't <laughs> want to? I didn't like him. What? You were in Scientology, but you didn't. <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could have. You would have gotten in had, trouble if you said remember, that, too. I right? joined the Sea Org and they routed me out because I have epilepsy and I, I ran out of my medicine. And they said, well, then, you know, you've got to get off your medicine and then you can come back to the Sea Org. Right. And Hubbard was in the Sea Org and he ran the Sea Org. Yeah. So OD I, awareness, are you I saying that you're a Tory son? Seizures, and my if so, my hi, said, great to see you in here. You know, you're losing your short-term memory. You're going back on your medicine, or I'm flying from Chicago to LA. And believe me, Tori, L. Ron Hubbard and the Church of Scientology will never forget your mother. And that, I started taking my medicine. I went to uh, Dr. Dank right down the street. They had the Shaw Health Center. And I went down there and I said, I got to take my medicine. I mean, who wants to have a seizure anyway? Yeah. Right? So it was not like now I had a reason, yeah. which was my mother. And I didn't care if they thought she was suppressive. It was like she wasn't suppressive. She said, Tori, Epilepsy is not a psychosomatic illness because I can say, "Die medicine will fix it." They said, "No, it won't. It's a, it's an illness. You need to take the medicine." So mm -hmm. anyway, she saved my life. I forgot how I got onto that. What did you say? I, <laughs> no, no, I asked if I, you had met Oron to say you asked. My, me. my husband yeah. did when he yeah. was five. His parents got in in 1950. Oh, so, so he, right away, right yeah, after Dianetics was written. This is before it was even called Scientology, right? Right, it was Dianetics. Dang. Right, so they were really oh. old timers. And so, yeah, it was just Dianetics. It was just a book, came out in 1950. It wasn't Scientology, there wasn't any. And when he changed it to Scientology, a bunch of Dianeticists left. Right. They said, fuck this. That we're was gonna... Mimi Rogers' parents that yeah, did that, right? That. Yeah. What a bunch of people. They were like, no, what no, year was this? Okay, so 1950 was when Dianetics was written, and then in sometime, I want to say like 1952, within a couple of years, yeah, he got in trouble years. for making false medical claims because he said in Dianetics, like Dianetics will give you perfect eyesight; it'll make you'll never get the common cold again. And so he got it. He lost. He went bankrupt. I'm pretty sure and lost the rights to Dianetics. Yeah. But then he created Scientology and called it a religion, which Dianetics had nothing to do with religion or past lives, like. He actually marketed it as this is like breaking mental health science. And he submitted it to the APA, the AMA, and uh, they laughed it off. Like, this is pseudoscience, which is how he started to hate that, psychiatry. That's how he was against psychiatry. That's See, that right. Was a real thing. But then he created Scientology and called it a religion. And then once he got some money, he was able to kind of get Dianetics back under the branch of like, oh, well, it's okay that we made these claims because it's actually now the first book that's necessary for this religious study. And I mean, that's a that's the short version of the story, as I understand it, as a never in <laughs> marketing. Yeah, no, he he learned from his mistakes and he came back stronger. <laughs> and my ex-husband, he used to have these con congresses, right? he'd be speaking. So my, the parents brought the kid and they were inside and Harold just wanted to zip in and get a quarter from his mom to buy some food like you, some snacks, right? Mm -hmm. That was all he wanted. Yeah. So he zips inside and Hubbard always locked the doors because he was taping. But Harold didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So he locked the doors. Now he's locked in. Mm -hmm. So his mom says, just sit here. And the whole thing's on fate and mind and body and all this shit. And he's just sitting there like, uh. And finally it ends. He comes outside and he goes, all of a sudden, this big, really guy with red hair leaning over me. And he looks at me and he goes, are they giving you enough? Because he was really afraid that he was going to grill him on what was he talking about. And he said, I don't remember. 
And he said instead, he leaned over and he goes, are they giving you enough popcorn and peanuts, young man? <laughs> and he said, that's my guy. You know, so he'd tell him up with him from that time. It's the only time I think he met him. Mm. But the parents gave him a ton of money. They, tons. Yeah. He has a whole folder that the parents left him with handwritten things from Ron saying, I'm sorry this didn't work. Thank you for the $10,000. Wow. Here's the next thing I'm coming up with. And, you know, I hope wow. you can help me. And he's on tapes on different courses. LRH says hello to Wing and Smokey Angel and Flo and Paul Bazazian, which were his parents. Oh. And so Flo wrote him and said, why did you mention us with all these people? And he wrote back and said, could you keep Scientology alive in Chicago? Wow. Because they did. They used to have people over. You know, it was really corny back then because nobody knew what they were doing, right? <laughs> so they read this Dianetics book and they have a specific thing you're supposed to do, but nobody understood it. So Flo is outside, the husband is inside with the auditor. And he's, he's, she hears him going, they have a thing called repeater technique. Like, let's say you kept saying, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. So they say, okay, repeat, I can't do it. And you just keep repeating it. Yeah, don't ask me. So... <laughs> He wanted to run out dogs because he hated dogs. You're covering so the, the, the camera, Tori. What am I doing? <laughs> You're covering the camera oh, on your... You. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Did your chat tell you? No, I... Oh, you just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, he wanted to run out his upset with dogs. So, he said, let's just do dogs. So, the auditor is... He falls asleep on a couch, which is totally out tech. And the auditors are going, dog, dog, dog. And Flo is outside the room and she realizes, that's not my husband's voice. And she opens the door and there he is, sound asleep. And the auditors are going, dog, dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so they were really crazy days. Gosh. And then the other fun, funny one, I'll tell you from Chicago, Harold was older, like a teenager. And they, were, they wanted him to get some auditing. So he goes in and the guy says, well, what aren't you telling me? And he goes, nothing. He goes, well, there's something. You know, he's got him on the meter. And he goes, there's something. Mm -hmm. What is it? You're not telling me. Nothing. Nothing. There's really nothing. And then he goes, you know what? I don't want to get this auditing anyway. And he gets up to go out. Yeah, and this is what the, it's an admission, right? And the mission holder goes, he's asking, where are you going? And he goes, I don't want to do this shit. And he goes, then get the fuck out of here. And he goes, I don't have to get out of here. And he goes, then get in session. And he goes, all right, I'll get in session. <laughs> <laughs> And he was smoking. That was the secret. Was he smoked? So he tells the auditor, "Okay, I smoked." And so the auditor lights up a cigarette. And they smoke oh. a session. <laughs> <laughs> because most Sea Org members do smoke, right? Well, it's like, now, but they don't in session. Oh no, never. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so that was really funny. So it's just funny old stories. Yeah. Dang. Classic though, huh? Classic indeed. And Flo was at Flag in a wheelchair and I tried to get her interviewed by them because she's you know she was there in 1950 she knows the whole history of Scientology and everything and they would not interview her and I had to really think about it and I thought you know what Dianetics says you can handle any illness right mm -hmm. and here she is in a wheelchair so that's why they wouldn't kill her and that was another big wake up call for me it was like wait a minute what about just all the OTs who wear glasses? Was that ever was that ever something that stood out to you? Is yeah. you're supposed to have perfect eyesight once you reach no, clear? I or? have epilepsy, so I was oh. already you know like my way worse than there. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> oh, nothing in the chat. I know what are you saying? <laughs> they said someone that hasn't seen the live before said, "What is this?" I said, "Oh, this is just a human trafficking cult that we're right in front of." <laughs> really? <laughs> you got new fans. Oh, that's like, did you have a bunch of people that were that don't know about this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're uh, just some, new people coming yeah, in each there's week. There's a lot of people that don't know. So, wow. Yeah, just joining I didn't know in. About this before I started. Yeah, we didn't I mean, know I about saw, this. I sort of did. Like I knew, like that they were crazy people, but I didn't know like everything about it. I know you guys have moved a lot, yeah, man. Yeah, now, been, remember, do you remember when we met met you on Elmwood yeah, 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 Way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was me and Drew. And I said, they're, they're these kids. we got to go find them. Yeah. So we were driving around up by the testing center. You weren't there. at CC. Shut down. So I said, let's go to the complex. Maybe they're there. And that's when we saw you. You were like, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and I just remember I knew who you were from that angel video that went all over. I know. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Someone posted a video of was her. Was that 2013? Yeah, talking to Angel. Oh, yeah. It went so viral on TikTok, but yeah. not because you posted it. Other people kept reposting. I'm like, who is this lady? I was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> I want to meet OG. her. That's the OG. Yeah. I know. I was just, I mean, that's my thing is to just talk to them, like the people. You know what I mean? Like, and then that's why like Odo and I are <laughs> For them, like they're not a person. <laughs> huh? I said, I'm Will's the opposite. Talk to them like they're not a person. <laughs> I I was in. I know yeah. how that feels when they'd send me out and people talk to me like I wasn't a person. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Shit but me. but see the thing is they talk to us like we're not people. Yeah. They talk like to us like we're like space aliens. Like criminals too. Yeah. yeah. Criminals. They treat us like we're lower. We're lower. True. We're lower. So. It's true. They they've really gotten worse. You're right. Yeah. So maybe less. maybe. It yeah, I was better. gonna say I think they got worse because when oh. you were talking to Angel in that video, he was like a normal. Yeah. Like he was like he like smiled. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. It's now, like all gone. Never. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Two can say You got that girl, don't you think, when you went to the testing center? I think no. she kind of no. smiled. No? Uh, when I brought the fake Kanye West, and she thought it was real Kanye, maybe, but she wasn't <laughs> smiling at me. Was Kanye actually out here? I saw yeah, yeah, he was yeah, right here. Actually was. He was right here. He was right here. Right she said here. no. She said I, no. I did say no before I saw the video. But I then said, I saw his girlfriend and Kanye. wife, and then I saw Yeah, I then like, yep. after I saw the, the girl, whoever his girlfriend is, or wife, or whatever, then I was like, then I went to look up the video, and I was like, oh, that actually was. But when was that? He wasn't at the. He was at the building. Yeah, he was right he here. came here for like to take pop rocks. No, he was right here. When was that? Oh, oh damn. Like Kanye was just walking casually. <laughs> well, they just came to take pictures. Yeah, definitely. I thought they might have been at the restaurant. Just talking to you. What was that? Oh, sorry. What was that? Oh, wait. Now it went away. Panther Student said he's correct about Hubbard. Losing Dianetics just two years yeah, after he, he and partners yeah, started guys. Dianetics. Yeah, and then like, it was within a couple of years of that yeah, that he founded Scientology and then Church of Scientology. Yeah, like, I would never watch some of yeah. after what? After just after knowing, knowing so much. Yeah. I was disappointed at how well Top Gun 2 <laughs> did in theaters. I remember when that was coming out, I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't perform well. But it really did. It yeah. broke records. Nah, Tom Cruise always, but I'm not watching it. <laughs> At least not in the theater. Yeah. I'll wait for. Anybody have a second phone? Because they're all saying watch DOA stream. Zach's going off, but my phone died. Zach's what? going off over here. I think. Zach's freaking out about the ticket on DOA stream. Anybody have a second phone? I don't. Uh, I do. Oh, but I think uh, Cam does, but he's talking to one of them right now. Like freaking out about the ticket still. Uh, he's oh. saying that he's going to contest it. That he's going to go after he's the. Go to court. <laughs> 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 are you guys trying to go to La Pubelle too? I'm not. Nope. You are? I would, but I'm already here late, so. Mm. You know, I just just go with the flow, like a straight. Oh, yeah. I get you. Yeah. I've never seen you at La Pubelle. Have you been there? What do you mean? I'm... Yeah, he's there more than anyone. <laughs> I'm there. Every... I don't watch it that much. I just pop in and see it and go, okay. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. It is. I, no, I know. It's not my thing. But like I said, you got to find your thing. You know, everybody's got their thing. And Chris's thing just happens to be playing with sock puppets. <laughs> I love those sock puppets. Those have gotten popular. You need oh, one. Oh, yeah. Tori. You need one. Mini Tori? Yeah. Mini Tori. You're, you're lucky I can't do your boys. Or <laughs> I said, you're lucky I can't do your boys or else you'd probably be there. Oh, mini Tori episode. You could do my boy. We have similar voices. Actually, I might be able to. Yeah, I think you can. You know, we might see a little mini Tori. <laughs> a Magoo. <laughs> mini Magoo. Right here. GOP be donating like crazy. Turn up the light. Uh, turn it up all the way. Oh, we put Zach or he just playing music now. Do we need to back it up then? Who's playing the muffin man song? Who's playing the muffin man over Zach? What are you doing? Somebody's playing the muffin man while Zach is talking. And DOA is playing the muffin man over him. Bro, what the hell? GOP might be the real Mexican. He might be the best. 
so we Zach the, won't stop talking. So DOA, about the ticket. He's talking in front of DOA, and DOA started playing the Muffin Man. Oh, over he went him. over to Muffin Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's still mad about the ticket. <laughs> Goofy. Goofy. Well, your... YouTube tech, Zach, what? Is it bad Ellison? now? I kind of want to go. Yeah. Allison? Is, is, uh, Allison, yeah. Allison with an E, right? Yeah. That's correct. Zachary. Might show up if you search Zachary Obama also. Yeah, it's Zachary yeah. Obama or something. Yeah, yeah. Obama? <laughs> <laughs> he was Barack Obama's $1 million uh, campaign donator in um, 2008 when he first ran. Uh, so he was like on the campaign website for a little bit, and now that's like he hangs on to that by calling He's himself Zachary Obama. <laughs> well, I was in Hillary Clinton's class council. Class council? Yeah, I was. Hillary Clinton's class council yeah, we in, in high seven, school? We were in class, and then we had our own class council. Like in high school? Yeah. No council. way. Yeah. Did, were you I friends with her? Or well, like, she, oh, okay. She is very much like she was now then. Okay. I'm very focused, and I'm very party animal. Like so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's really interesting. I did not know that about you. Wow. Yeah, when, hmm. that, when the whole campaign was going, I posted like, a photograph of our high school, you know, uh-huh. all the kids, and Hillary Rodham and me, and I was the treasurer with Bob and Wiley. Is that on your Facebook? Somewhere? Or, like, you posted I'm that one? Somewhere a million... Mm. Down. I don't know where. It is. I periodically repost it. Hmm. <laughs> 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 is that crazy? Is that, I hate she's been wasting my time. I'm going to waste his time. <laughs> 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 they said Osher's in the background about to pee yourself. <laughs> that was me when we were over there. <laughs> this is three hours out there. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please just go watch, actually? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I said I was not going to go to La Pugel, but this is too good. <laughs> this is too I need good. A, I need to film here. Uh, yeah. jo- I, I need to see Zach Brandt about this. It's hilarious. I'm not going to like La Pugel for that. I just, I, I need to see for, this. For, <laughs> for, <laughs> it's too funny. It's too funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'll be here for We're a little bit. Out of here. You'll be here You're for a little bit? Here? Yeah, I'm going uh, I'm to film my puppets. Okay. I'm not in my car. No, but I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show my puppets. Yeah, I know, but I don't uh, What am I going to go stand there with Zach? <laughs> and, and, you know, it's got to be a group to get us to, unless, like, I'm there. He wa- he's out to go. I'm done. He wants to go too. I don't have strong feelings. Uh, yeah, you're just, done. I'm literally just going to. Because it was like a big crowd. I'm not going, but it seems low key hey, there, so I'll stop by. Is that? Yeah, I'll just stop by there. That's not a compliment. <laughs> 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 you're gonna restart over there. Or? That's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tori, you're a Forrest Gump. We need a movie about you. It'll probably be closed <laughs> by the time we all get there. Oh, I get it. Because DeForest Gump like has met all the famous people in the movie. Like throughout the movie, there's constant references, and you went with high school with Hillary Clinton. Yeah, yeah. I changed my mind. I'm not gonna go. You're saying DOA at Tessin? There's no way. I just literally saw him at. Yeah, no, he's okay. So anyway, I'm gonna sign off, you guys, because these guys are abandoning me. That's not true. I said I was in. I still got. At least 30 okay, minutes here. You. At least 30 minutes here? Yeah. Because I didn't film. Oh, okay. I got a bunch of props. Okay. Yes. But I don't want to show them what anybody's like. So. Oh, okay. So you want some well, privacy? Not, not like that. No. <laughs> I just don't want to see people. Gotcha. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh, really? I did a, we did a video. It's really hysterical. His eyes are like slit off slits. I mean, yeah. he, he was so stoned. I was <laughs> Who is this? I'm like the day after Easter. Okay. He woke up and he was really hungry. Uh-huh. Somebody left him these muffins. Yeah. And he just ate them. You should bring a fake ticket. Who? Who? Yeah. Wow. Find it, right? I didn't realize yeah. that happened. Yeah. That's yeah. So I'm going to sign off here. So good night, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Oh, yeah. You, you do. Okay. And I'll show you the pictures of DOA. Wait till okay. you see them. It's so funny. <laughs> okay. So it's done. Yeah, Danny didn't show up today. Nope. Danny. He was on live earlier, but... I thought I thought he was on live. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> you took him out to Dennis? Or yeah. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, it was very funny because he said, I mean, we oh, ate and everything, and he I, said, I, I've never been this town. I don't know what happened. I believe it. Yeah, those things can be strong. <laughs> we should see if uh, there's still a ticket on that other car. We should take just the envelope and uh, put it on Zach's. <laughs> put it on Zach's? You are so bad. <laughs> Have a heart attack. <laughs> Where is it on what car? Uh, there's a car over there that got it. There yeah, were like three cars in a row that got ticket. Like, no, just the envelope. Actually, I have a whole bunch of envelopes in my car. I can use. Could you have a whole bunch of envelopes? So you're going to go over to La Pouvelle now. Yeah. Ooh, yo, that. Do you need help back to your car? I'm just literally pulling up to, to hear Zach trying to move. All right. I don't blame you. Is there something in front of you? That's been there. That was shocking. All right, guys. I'm going to have filmed it. Maybe Columbus is down. That's so funny. <laughs> Still yeah, that's the highlight of the night for him now. I know for a while. <laughs> Probably will be. <laughs> if he's trying to take it to court, then yeah, it will be the highlight for a while. Oh, that's super. <laughs> I mean, he'd be much smarter, than you. don't you think? Yeah, I. I mean, especially with the signs, you got to look at the signs. Yeah, I've made the same mistake, but. And then you. Bye. All right. It's a fun you all night. set. Bye, guys. It's fun. No homo. <laughs> hey, we'll put no homo in there. Yeah. Hate it like that. Heck yeah. Yeah, um, you can follow me there. <laughs> um, how do oh, I okay. find you? Um, just search my name up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> are you going to be at La Poubelle? Or are you headed out? I just head out. Okay. Have a good night. And have a good night, Tori. Bye bye. Yeah, where are you going? All right. What? Whose keys are these? Huh? These one of your guys' keys? What? Chris, are these your keys? No, those are Jess's. Those are Jess's? Even better. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm headed to La Poubelle. See ya. I'm sorry, Jess. I know she's not listening because she's live right now on her own. But confident Chris has her keys. Cookie Brightwell says, what is Zach's channel? He is Zachary Ellison. You may have more luck finding him, though, if you search Zachary Obama. Cookie Brightwell says, did you know Aaron said tonight that Davey bought the city council building in Clearwater? I've seen a couple of folks say that. I have not watched the video where he talks about it yet, but wow, that's a shame. Noelle says she is a gem. I can never turn her off yet. Yeah, Tori, is, Tori is great. It's always so great to get to see her and hear her stories. And she has so many, so many interesting stories. And Dustin Toda Fountain says, Tori means so much here in Clearwater. Oh. Nothing but love for Tori Magoo. All 
right. Why don't I switch? The camera view. At least for a moment. While there's some light on the street, because there won't be in another moment. It's off to La Poubelle we go. Cookie Brightwell says, bad news, now they have to pay him rent. Ah. So, so anytime there's a city council meeting or any anything that the city is using the city hall building for, they now have to pay Scientology to use it? That's terrible, if I'm understanding correctly. I don't know if I am. I'll have to watch Aaron's video, though, tomorrow. So thank you to those of you in the chat who are letting me know about it. Gosh, what a shame. Cookie Brightwell, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. Love having the company. Revoke Scientology's tax exempt status. Revoke Scientology's tax exempt status. Oh, wait, can't actually be too loud here. It is nighttime. Oh, people trying to sleep around here. Hey there, Farah. Thank you, Cheshire Cat. Cookie Brightwell says, yes, that's what Aaron said. Ah, too bad. Liddy Marsh says the mayor moved out of her office. It's a shame that it went to the cult. Yeah, I've got to watch this video now. That might be what I play on my way home tonight. Cue that video up and then head back home because I need to know the story here. Cookie Brightwell says, I think you could be a lawyer. Thank you. That is definitely one of the considerations that I have been pondering quite frequently lately regarding what do I do with the rest of my life? <laughs> so that may be the move. But thank you for the encouragement. I appreciate that. Farrah, what are these emojis that I'm looking at? Are those... I gotta turn up the brightness on my phone. Oh, okay. And bricks in the world? Bricks and... Globes? Is that what I'm looking at? <laughs> There's a message there that I'm not getting. Feel free to enlighten me. <laughs> Liddy Marsh says, do it. I became an RN at 40. Well, congratulations. And I think I'm gonna. We'll see. <laughs> Peaceful Drama says, Zach went into the tent at La Poubelle? No way. Oh, yeah, I've got to beat over there now. I'm almost back to my car, y'all. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> but thank you, Chloe.
All right. We almost here. And then I'll have to park my car again once I get there too. <laughs> Just a moment, folks. I haven't really mounted my car while I was driving it before because I've had other folks that I've been with help me carry it before. But let's see if I can figure out a way to do this. Got a bunch of crap on the floor in my car. Sorry about the mess, y'all. Thank you, Liddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. trash can that's parked in a way that it's making it a little bit tough for me to get out, but we're going to do it. Oh no, my phone fell. Oh well. You guys don't need to see exactly where I am and what's going on with me while I'm driving. You know I'm safe. Well, I hope you can hear me. Hopefully my mic hasn't gone out. You know, usually I stop the live and restart a new one when I arrive at a new location. And I see now why. <laughs> I don't know how interesting the content's gonna be for the next few minutes as we're in travel mode. Crossing Fountain Avenue. Shout out to Dustin Fountain Avenue, if you're still watching. I need to get one of those things that Uber drivers have so that I can just have my phone easily mounted. I can't put on music because then we're running into copyright issues. Have you ever been to the water spout way down at the bottom of the water system? There you'll find a little alligator who goes by the name of Off You Diffy Doo, he's mine. I lost him, I threw him down the water spout, and now I'm feeling lonely because he's gone. I miss him. A little bit of a warm up, that I'll sometimes do with my chorus as I'm getting the vocal cords warmed up. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, enunciate, articulate, exaggerate. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, enunciate, articulate, exaggerate. 
the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, enunciate, articulate, exaggerate. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, enunciate, articulate, exaggerate. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, enunciate, articulate, exaggerate. Down by the sally gardens, my love and I did meet. She passed the sally gardens with little snow white feet. She bid me take life easy. As the leaves grow on the tree, but I, being young and foolish, with her I did not agree. In a field by the river, my love and I did stand, and on my leaning shoulder she placed her snow white hand. She bid me take life easy as the grass grows on the wheels. But I was young and foolish, and now I am full of tears. was me having a little bit of fun with Down by the Sally Gardens. No parking 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., but 10.44 p.m. Parking then should be just fine. getting parked. Lara has taught me well. I'm not going right into the curb though. But yeah. Do to do. All right. I should be chilling. Even if I pull back up a little bit. All right. I'm going to get out of the car for a sec. Well, folks, some nights parking is hard to find, but tonight we got that taken care of. <laughs> Heiko says, we can hear you. Heck yeah. Liddy Marsh says, LOL, you are fun. Watching the lights go by. Love that alligator song. <laughs> yeah, it's a typical warm up that we in the Westminster Chorus like to use. Which, by the way, we have a show coming up. I don't remember the date off the top of my head. But uh, if you're in the LA area and you want to see me sing with my chorus, um, you know what? I'll I'll do more I'll do more about that at a later time when I have more of the details ironed out. Hey, maybe I'll even go live at some point in the middle of rehearsal when we have our 15 minute break so that maybe you can hear me singing some tags with my chorus friends. <laughs> Anada on fire says me Celtic ancestors be smiling. <laughs> oh, silliness. 
Oh yeah, but that uh, that poem that I was singing, "Down by the Sally Gardens," that is a classic Irish poem, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm uh, glad to hear that you enjoyed it. <laughs> and thank you to Cheshire Cat and Farah for the kind kind comments, and Dustin Soda Fountain <laughs> for your comment. Uh, Jamie says, "Selfless and Zach went inside the tent at La Poo." I hope you're not going there. Well, yeah, that is where I'm at. Um, did they get in? I, I need to find out the story, I guess. Uh, I know Jess was also driving up, too. So let's go see what the vibe is. A squirrel double quartet. Yup. <laughs> All right. Let's turn my headlights off. Turn the car off. All right. I wouldn't believe how often I misplace my keys. But I got them. I'm chilling. All right. My bag is always so full. It's ridiculous. Well, maybe that's what I'll just do from now on when I am switching from one location to another and I don't want to end my stream. I'll just sing old poems with music that's been added where the uh, I don't have to adhere to copyright laws. Although if I'm singing without music, I don't know if it would even affect my monetization if I'm singing a cappella, even a song that is copyrighted. Something to dive into, perhaps. All right, well, if folks were uh, playing guitar over here, I might have to go in with some jamming. Although I don't have my guitar with me today. I didn't know that was going to be the vibe. <laughs> so let's see what's going on up here. My friends. I do feel bad for Zach that he got a ticket. That's no fun. but I'd be lying if I said the reaction was not amusing. <laughs> All right, why don't I go ahead and switch my camera view now, now that I'm getting close. Um, I do see DOA's van. Hey. He's gonna fuck it up. Who's this? Don't fuck it up, bro. Don't fuck it up. Alright, now he's got a boy. Who, who's this? The guy in the, uh, whatever you call it, that is. He, he almost hit her back in, and he almost did the going out, too. Oh, I don't know why it. he didn't even move back at all, though. He always got so far. Gotcha. Um, and look, there's no tables here. So is this not even, not even like the restaurant anymore? This is just the, it's the sidewalk being occupied. Huh. Interesting. I, I, I've gone through it twice. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, should be on the show Sounds like progress. Hey, Aja. Hi, hi, How are you? Good, good to I see you. Think, I think Tori wants to know the story about the ticket. Oh. oh. Tori wants to hear about the ticket. I think so. I think so. Would you like to touch my monkey? Touch it. <laughs> Love it. Pet it. Touch my monkey. You better? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, it's How's it going? I want to make sure that. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Pretty good. <laughs> Did you get some of the entertainment you were searching for? Apparently, they were saying he's been running back and forth the That's That's what I've been hearing in my chat, too. I. 
so I guess there's no tables there. Like it, it's there's no bouncers and there's no tables in the tent. It looks like. I'm not really looking to test it and go in there myself. Oh, that's a good song. <laughs> you streaming tonight or? I, so I, I streamed uh, earlier. I started streaming out here. Okay. I got, I, got, I, got, I got kind of a bad vibe and I turned out. Oh, okay, I got you. I turned out I was right. So. <laughs> I see. Yeah. yeah, you never know which nights. Oh, wait, we've got. There you go. Was this put up today or has this been here? I think they just put it up now. Did you put this up today, Did, uh, Scotty? Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> How's tonight been? Anything interesting? Or? You so you drunk. Is that what you say? Oh, okay. Got you. I love that. <laughs> nice. Good move. <laughs> Laura, was Laura out here earlier, too? Uh, she had an interview with, uh, who did, who did, uh, Weavy. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Right on, right on. Oh, have you been hearing the, yep. hearing the story? Oh, we, we heard, we heard it for an hour oh back in Big Blue, too. I didn't hear it He's told you he's going to he's take it to court. He's, he's going to take it to court with the judge. Get good at that character letters to the judge. In some way. This is why Los Angeles is not out I think I just stole your joke, actually. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> guy. That would have been. No interest. <laughs> That would have been funny if they did. This is some silliness tonight. <laughs> Ticket has become the the ultimate story of the night. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm I'm Jones and first of my scream right now. I've gotten so used to. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. He's just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest thing, you guys. So you all can see that's the microphone right there for, that Scotty uses, and then that's the speaker that Scotty's got loudly playing the Muffin Man right now, so that he's talking over. <laughs> the music is louder than Zach's voice on the stream. Oh my God, this is truly the funny. This is comedy gold right now. <laughs> the ice cream man, the ice cream man. Yes, I know the ice cream man lives on Drury Lane. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I would love to know what the chat is like right now in DOA's chat. <laughs> Oh, these are puppets dancing in this. This is the same thing that was happening when I was still at Big Blue, so I don't know how long this has been going on, but I am I'm losing it. This is so funny. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 
I think I'm going to get some ice cream. So, Sharkat, yes, Tori is here. She came through to hear. <laughs> Here's Zach's tales of his ticket. I am going to get some ice cream because I guess now when I show up in front of Lafu Bell, that's what I crave. That's what I've gotten used to. So... Let's do that real quick. Creeping so mean that I ever seen. You have to pack my things and go. That's right, I hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Tori is outside my hotel. She's with Jess and others. myself shaving and I can see right where. Yeah. Uh, two, three, two. Yeah. 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 Good night, Liddy. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, Dustin's a trooper. We built this city. We built this city in a black and blue. I'm going to get something new today. I usually get two scoops, one of mint chip and one of cookies and cream, but I think I'm going to mix it up today. This one I actually don't know the answer to. I don't know who, who wrote this one. The last one I was singing was Ray Charles, but this one I'm not sure about. Ah, is it Jefferson?
It is Jefferson Starship. I think I cut out for a sec because I was getting a call. But I'm back. I think I am actually going to turn off my camera for a moment while I'm paying so I don't accidentally flash my credit card. Hello. Can I get, um, can I get a cup with two flavors? And can I get cookies and cream caramel swirl and peanut butter brownie honeycomb? I'm going to turn y'all off. Yeah, shut up. And I'm assuming um, that's the vegan peanut butter, right? Uh, or or is it? Uh, yeah. So you want the vegan cookies and cream caramel? Oh, I actually didn't even realize those are both under vegan. Yeah. Um, Do you want regular? Let me see, actually. Uh, sorry about that. Could I actually, you know what could I actually do? Cookies and cream, regular, right. and then the brown sugar cookie dough brownie. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Regular green yeah. and brown sugar. Alright. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what was that? So I was supposed to go to the gym at 7 a.m. Oh, yeah. See, I, like, like, last time I, like, I woke, like, morning, so I got Today, tomorrow I'm going to like, uh, yeah. Yeah, lots of little things, like I'm taking a lot of night shifts at the park, but like, which I, the nice thing I like though, because I like to convert it, but like, it means like I'm not going to make up for the decisions. Like, uh, I might try to start like, push it, like see if I can like, switch more, compromise schedule. Cut out again, but I'm about to get my ice cream, y'all. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. We got the ice cream. Ice cream secured. Have fun with that. What was that all about? Oh, just an ignorant ass being an ignorant, pompous, drunk as fuck, wasted asshole. Mm. Basically, who uh, couldn't actually engage with my uh, with anything that I was saying, and so he gish galloped through a bunch of deflections mm. about my personal character and my behavior. Ah. I messed up one word out of all of my speech. I said protest. <laughs> or something i caught my tongue i've been speaking for eight hours mm -hmm. right and so yeah my tongue's a little tired it and it got it? caught in my teeth and i didn't want to bite so, my tongue oh, I was so like, he glommed on onto that he's like oh no because because he looks clearly intoxicated on perhaps a few things and so and i and i said as much and and so he wanted to throw that back in my face and act as though like i'm a representative of the entire protest movement when it was that I was just trying to tell him, please don't give money to a freaking place that supports and protects rapists. Yeah. Don't fucking do it. Because mm -hmm. you're going to look like a tool. That's and right. Basically, he asked me what we're trying to do, and I answered him. We're trying to shut this shit down. We're trying to shut it down and perhaps name and shame anybody that wants to further support this while also having the knowledge of what it is that they did, which I did transmit to them, which is... The Danny Master, yeah. the drugging of the one Jane Doe with GHB here, mm -hmm. the assault, and then also the harassment of the Jane Doe's at the courthouse, and also the character, character letter. letter yeah. After conviction, I gave him all that information, and that's what he had back for me. That's what he had back to spit at me, is one misplaced word, and I was wasted. So, um, because he was all, I, I mean, he was on the grumpy dust, man. For sure. Uh, that's, am, that's the character of folks who come out of here. <laughs> I'm high on life. I'm that's high right. On protest. Heck yeah. And, uh, relevance. I think. <laughs> you know where everybody else went? Um, I think uh, they, they took a short break. Okay. And, like I, I've taking just a loop been, around. <laughs> I've just been uh, left to guard the scene. Oh, right on. I'm not at the cool kids table. That's <laughs> what the cool kids do. You, you know whose chair that is? That is DOA's chair. Okay, I might actually take that while I'm eating the Please. ice cream then. <laughs> if you've ever seen us eating the ice cream, the ice cream place that we go to is right, right there. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> I love it. All right. As 
nice to catch up with selfless self. All right, let's figure out the most efficient way here for me to situate myself. Because whatever I'm doing right now is not it. There we go. Right at my eye level. I feel like a king right now. This actually looks really silly if you can see it from like a wider angle. I'm just sitting in a chair with a tripod extended up to my eye level while I eat ice cream. Uh, Cookie Brightwell asks, who is he? That is Selfless Self. Hey, Sharon. Sharon needs to sleep. Catch you on Team Replay. Be safe okay, and happy. Close, Thank you, nice. Sharon. Right. Dustin says, I'm going to bed. I have some fun content coming. We have a special guest coming. Stay tuned. I am excited to see more. Have a good night, Dustin. I'm a little curious about what my friends are doing on their walk, but I wasn't trying to join them while I've got ice cream on me. I do hope they come back while I'm still <laughs> sitting here eating ice cream. Thank you, Ye. Got a song request for One Tin Soldier. Do I know that song? The first song that popped into my head when I heard that was, Then soldiers and Nixon's coming, we're finally on our own. That morning I heard the door slam for dead in Ohio. I, don't, I think I might have butchered the lyrics there. That's not the song that you're thinking of, but that's the song that popped into my head when I saw that phrase, Tin Soldier. <laughs> Good night, Cookie. Thanks for staying up as late as you did. I don't know I don't know if I know this song. This might be have to be one that I'll learn. Top Gun, Rinse, Repeat, same movies, different decade. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I actually have not seen the original Top Gun. I feel like I need to, because it feels like a classic. But I'm also not rushing to. <laughs> not ru really rushing to see anything Tom Cruise is in. A loud ass helicopter. Good night, Anhada. Hey, you know where everybody else went? <laughs> I don't know, about to bail. Uh, oh, really? I mean, so I think they went, just went that way. Did, oh, they right. were checking on the car. But oh, okay. All I heard was that there was a whole situation with a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Z uh, Zachary got a parking ticket, yeah. and it's, it's 
been all that we've heard about for the <laughs> majority of the night. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he says he's going to take it to court. He's going to try to dispute it. Okay. I Best of luck to him. We'll see We'll see what happens. But they were also trying to prank him, I think, because they were trying to take uh, other tickets, that got cars that got ticketed around him, and then put the ticket on his car to make him think he got another one. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> they're, they're, they're being silly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they... I just craved ice cream when I come here now because I've gotten so used to getting ice cream. <laughs> you should, man. It's, you know, you got to have some fun. It's tough work. Fuck yeah. I keep saying I mean to signal you. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll get on that. This time, oh, dude. hold me to it. <laughs> dude, it's fine, man. Hey, hey. Oh, man. I, I, Wait, we can wait to put the ticket on Zach's car. Or <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> it's a $93 ticket. <laughs> $93. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You get some good content? Well, if you didn't. People think they're like raining money on me or something? That is not my Oh, fuck. Well, uh, like, they broke my spoon. <laughs> Oops. I got a bell. You guys be safe. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. I feel like a king sitting on my throne with the camera at like, eye level. I honestly don't feel eating sorry ice cream. for working before no, people. That makes me a bad person. The story still here? I didn't know Tori was coming. Tori told me she will never come here. Hey, Zach. Zach. All of a sudden, I pull up this story. Why? Why? Why were they being? Why did they give it to you sixty nine instead of sixty eight dollars? Why did they be? Or Chris and Pam show up as well. Chris is playing with his puppets, uh, and I, I mean, think Pam know. was forced to stay there because he didn't have a line. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and, Oh, this is cool. I'm sitting in your seat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Sounds good. You take it off. Gotcha. I've had my fun today. I'm going to get a couple of these. I didn't say anything. Nice. I simply asked for a challenge ticket. I 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 asked for a All righty then. Got a character walking by. <laughs> but I love the Clark Kent and Superman jokes. Christopher Hollywood Boulevard, we'd be getting people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> are we getting money off of getting a parking ticket? I'm going to fight. Okay. So, yeah. Support the journalism. I should not be begging people to hit likes and squirrel squad. And we're going to be doing more squirrel squad news. Heck yeah. So, in fact, like, you know, I love seeing Jess's commitment to making content out of this.
I don't need to also be over there because I've already heard this story so many times now. But I'd love. <laughs> Jess is funny, y'all. Something happened that I missed. That's because that's because that's because just finally saw me snap at somebody. And I mean, like, we've, there's been a lot of shit that's happened out here, and I've never snapped on anybody like that. So, did they put your name on the ticket? Uh, no, this is license plate number. Does a license plate number? Oh my god, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Are you gonna pay this thing you know? Uh, no, I'm gonna challenge him. If I have to pay it, I'll pay it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge him because I think it's a code ticket. And like, I'm sure that guy writes things there all day long. Hi, Dios mio. So I have no sympathy for him. Um, he can get another job just like this restaurant. All right, I'm gonna throw this in the trash. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Thank you. They're not, they're fighting on they're literally fighting over um home, whether they should save or declare um homeless prevention and homeless services <laughs> essential like the police and fire. Um, the city council. I thought he wore out. They, they don't even have money for that. Not being worn out. It's wearing off. It's wearing off. I mean it'll be later on it's wearing off. It's just surprised I'm like I went to Reed in Portland, Oregon. People haven't even read my bio, they have no idea. You went to what? Reed in Portland, Oregon. What is that? Reed, Reed College is in Portland, Oh, Oregon. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, right it's, on. It, it's, that is one of our schools. Nice. That was for bachelor's or master's? Uh, bachelor's. And like, Reed is wild, far wilder than any of the Scientologists. What's up? Someone already changed your hold on, hold on. Someone already changed their, their username to Sack Parking. It's amazing. So, look at this. So, I got one in the courthouse, like, from two and two. That's why I, like, I don't really like going down to downtown LA because it's expensive and you get two bucks. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Grab my bag. Oh my god. I mean <laughs> The city Sack has without a priorities. Haircut. That is not being a good city of Zach without a ticket in the past. Zach without a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, basket. Yeah, I know. Night. We have a lot of people and not all like fun. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, the OG Top Gun doesn't age well. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, just know if you go to the blue building there, you cannot park on that street at all. Oh, Which one was the protest? Oh yeah, the uh, Ohio from Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. That's right, it was. And yes, we will, Nicole. They're everywhere, man. You have to watch out. You've seen that guy play really Like that's not even the first one. He got to do it. I heard a little bit of that. On live stream too is bold. 
Well, he knows he's being streamed. You got a boyfriend? But like, yeah, for 12 years. <laughs> but like, like, subscribe. I'll keep yelling at the part before it's the guy every time he comes and so he doesn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. like, don't do your part. Don't do your part. Yeah, like, uh, you see that old man, glasses, he harassed more a while ago. Oh, okay. okay. He was sitting and just kind of creeping around. Yeah. Francis, oh, okay. the old guy who owns yeah. the place? No, or? That was just right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Just keep your eyes out for him. Yeah. Good to know. Have a good night. Oh, he's not leaving yet? Oh, okay. Took down the banner. That's what I was thinking. I mean, they just took down the banner. Oh. Let's go struggling. I actually don't know, think I've seen them take down the tent before. I don't think I've been here that long before. <laughs> and, like, journalism is not doing well. People don't even understand that. Oh, I, I get it. We're... Um, the former head of the union at the LA Times took a buyout um, after they laid off 119 people, and he's now on Substack, just like me. So now, now he's responding. Okay. Like, you're, you know, Matt Peters, uh, former uh-huh. union yeah, yeah. of uh, LA Times, laid off 119 journalists at the LA Times in January. Gosh. Is now uh, on Substack too. So people can stop going like, "What is Substack? It's where journalists are retreating from news publications." That's right. We still doing artwork All right, over here. Guys. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, I've never seen this here. before. I've never actually never actually seen Wapu Bell with the tent down. I'm just, I'm just an average homeless man I'm in, the, in my bag. No, uh, dude, I totally I'm free from the rest of it. It motivated a lot of people. All right. I'm going to get the shot of the century. I'm going to hold myself up and have the camera on. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah. I'm about to head out as well. Let's try the same, yeah. All right. All right. Well, All another good. Good. And this is your last night in California, right? Correct. Yeah. All right. Well, it was very, yeah. Great to meet you. Head an hour, but I'm sure I'll see you around. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good have a good night. Great to, great to meet you and spend the time these past few weeks. Bye-bye. We all headed out. Yeah. All right. See ya. Later. Goodbye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Let's go ahead and switch my camera view so that you all can see what I'm seeing. Or actually, so that you all can see me for a moment. There we are. There that disgusting restaurant is. La Poubelle. It'd be hard to frame myself. There we go. Lintin Soldier is an anti-war song I learned from the 60s. I learned it in summer camp. Gotcha, gotcha. I will have to check it out. All right. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. Bit of a bit of a different night. We had some of the things we were focusing on are a little different than our typical protest nights, but nevertheless, great to see everyone. Stay safe. Stay. I am, yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me because I almost forgot. I was thinking I might just catch up with a few more chats here and then head to my car. Cool. You headed out pretty you you about to head out soon too? Yeah. Over there. Are you in the okay, okay, right on. Okay, gotcha. I think I will go ahead and end my stream. Good night, everybody. <laughs>